Hi, this is Gary with MacMost.com. Let me show you how you can quickly preview images on your Mac. MacMost is brought to you thanks to a great group of more than a thousand supporters. Go to MacMost.com slash Patreon. There you could read more about the Patreon campaign. Join us and get exclusive content and course discounts. Often I see people online asking how they can preview images that they have as files in the Finder on the Mac. I'm surprised I see this question so often because there are so many great ways to be able to do that on the Mac. So let's say I've got a folder here and it has a bunch of images in it and I want to find the one that I'm going to use in a project. Now an icon view like this you can kind of see these little thumbnails and maybe be able to pick out the image from that. But most of the time you want to see a larger preview. The simplest way to do this is to use Quick Look. So you can select an image and then press the space bar and you get this Quick Look window and you can see more detail in the image and then press space bar again to dismiss it. Now also notice that with this image selected I can use the arrow keys to move around an icon view. So I can move to the right with the right arrow key, down with the down arrow key, up and to the left. If I were to press the space bar and bring up Quick Look I can use those same arrow keys because I'm still working here in the Finder. So if I go down now Quick Look is showing what's selected. I go to the left and see this image. Now that gets kind of confusing in icon view because you just want to be able to flip through them all. But you need to be able to see what's going on here to navigate right, left, up and down. So it's much better to use either list view or column view. Then you could select one image here, press space bar to bring up Quick Look and then use the down arrow key to simply go down, up if you want to go back. Now you can resize this Quick Look window to make it smaller or bigger so you can see what it is you're doing. But anyway you've got it. It's a really quick way to be able to preview the image that you want. When you find the one you want you dismiss Quick Look by clicking the X here or just pressing space bar again and you're left with the right image selected. Now another way to do this is to use the Preview pane. Now in Column View the Preview pane is on by default and this is where you may be used to seeing it. If you go to Column View you see columns here on the left and you see this large preview here on the right. But it may surprise you to find out you can use this Preview column in List View and Icon View as well. So in List View here I just go to View and then Show Preview or Shift Command P and then it appears here. I could drag the line to make it larger or smaller. It's even there in Icon View once you turn it on so you could see it for whatever image you've got selected. So in List View if you turn on the Preview column you can go through all of your images, see this fairly large preview here to the right without having to bring up another window like in Quick Look. And to turn it off just go back to the same menu item or Shift Command P again. Another option that's interesting is to use the Inspector. So you probably know that you can select an image like this, do Command I and bring up the Info window. That is in File and then Get Info. But if you hold down the Option key and use Option Command I it's Show Inspector. The difference with the Inspector is that it stays there and it hovers on top of everything and whatever you select it's going to show you the info for it. Now if you turn on the Preview section of the Inspector here you get a preview. So you can now preview things, use the arrow keys to go up and down or select with the pointer. An advantage of this is it's a little smaller than Quick Look by default and you can also bring up other things here. So if you want to bring up general information for instance you could have both that and the preview section open at the same time. Now we've looked at Icon View, List View and Column View but the fourth view is Gallery View and that's made for previewing images. So switch to that and it shows you all the contents of your folder as a horizontal list at the bottom and then a large preview here above that. In addition you get information to the right. So now I can move through all the images using the left and right arrow keys to find the one I want. Other than that it's a regular Finder view. I can double click on this to open it or once I have the image I want selected I can switch back to one of the other views and that file stays selected. It's really quick to switch between these views by the way by going to View and you can see Command 1 through 4 are the views. So if you're in List View and you want to be able to preview these images to find the right one just a quick Command 4. Now you're in Gallery View. You can use the left and right arrow keys, find the image that you want, a quick Command 2 and you go back to List View. Now you can also use Quick Look. But I already showed you Quick Look. Well there's another way to use Quick Look to preview files. Here with just one selected if I use the space bar to bring up Quick Look I continue with the up and down arrow keys to move between the files. However 
if I instead select a range of photos, so I'm going to select this first one, shift click to select this last one, say I know that the image is in here. Then I press spacebar. Now I'm in Quick Look again but I've got these little left and right arrows here at the top. I can use these to flip through just the images I've selected. The right and left arrow keys will do the same thing. So I can just go in this subset of images I've selected by using Quick Look like this. In addition I can even click this index view here and then move around with the arrow keys and select one from that. Now of course you've got an app on your Mac called Preview. So you would think that's the primary way to preview an image. But in fact what you're doing when you double click an image or open it with Preview is you're opening up the image. You're no longer previewing it. You actually have it open in an app which kind of defeats the whole purpose of figuring out what image you want first before opening it. But Preview can come in handy in some cases. For instance if I were to select a range of these and then use File, Open or Command O they should all open in the default app which is Preview. Now you can see here I've got a list of them on the left and a nice big viewing area. And I can use the down arrow keys to go through these. Now if you try to open them all and you get them in separate windows that means you need to change the setting in Preview under Images to Open All Files in One Window. Now if you're using this method to be able to preview the images and now you want to go to the image you can Command click on the name here and you can see how you can go up in the folder hierarchy. Go up one level and then you can see it takes you in the Finder to that folder and that actual file is selected. So I started off by showing you Icon View and said how these icons are pretty small. But you can actually make these icons larger if you prefer Icon View and simply want to be able to look through a grid of photos. Then you can go to View and then Show View Options or Command J. And here when you're on Icon View it looks like this and you have Icon Size. And you could simply increase the Icon Size to be able to see the images a little bit better. Now doing that may really make it hard to navigate around in this big window. But you could always go to View and then Clean Up By and then say Clean Up By Name and it's going to resort everything here so it's not wider than the actual window itself and you can scroll down and quickly find the image you want. Now of course these methods are about finding images in the Finder if they're files. If they're in your Photos app then you have a lot of options in Photos. For instance just the regular views have you viewing icons and you can increase the size or decrease the size or you could go into one and then use the arrow keys to keep flipping through all of your photos. So if for some reason you're storing your own photos as files and you're not using the Photos app well you may want to consider doing that because it makes it a lot easier to view, manage, and maintain your photos collection. So a couple extra notes. First if you're using iCloud and you have an image like this one that isn't fully downloaded then as you flip through with Quick Look you'll see that that image gets a much smaller thumbnail. But it looks a little bit better if you go to View, Show, Preview and then you can see the thumbnail looks like that as opposed to a regular image it looks like that. So you get an indicator that it isn't currently cached on your Mac but you still can look through these images without much of a problem. Another thing to consider is you could still use Quick Look in conjunction with a lot of these other methods. So here if I'm using the Preview column on the right and I get to an image and I want a closer look at it I can use the Space Bar to do that and the Space Bar to dismiss. It will be the same with using large icons in the Icon View or using the Inspector. You can still use Quick Look while you're using those other methods. So now that you know a bunch of different methods for previewing images on your Mac it's just a matter of figuring out which one works best for you. Thanks for watching. If you liked this video click the thumbs up button below to let me know. I publish new tutorials each weekday. Hit the subscribe button so you don't miss out.